What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us for your daily dose of dance. My name is Miss Emily from WestCoastSwingOnline.com, and we are going to do a fun West Coast Swing line dance that I made just for you guys. Um, I don't have a real name for it yet. I was calling it the Lockdown Boogie, but if you have any other names or suggestions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. So I'm going to demo it first, and then we are going to do uh, the breakdown of it. So, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six. going to be a 32 count line dance. It is two walls. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start on a slight angle. So for those of you who use the clock formations, this is going to be my 12 o'clock. We're going to go more around 130 or two to start this. So on a slight angle, right foot is free. So the first eight counts, we walk forward. We have one, two, three, four. From here, we're going to rock forward. So we have a uh, five and six, we step back, seven, eight. And one of the things that I wanted to do for this line dance was create a little bit of space that you could have some freedom and movement if you wanted to try some styling stuff too. So let's do that again. Right foot is free. We have one, two, three, four. We rock five and six, back seven, eight. One more time and then we're gonna flip it around. And a one two, three, four, five, and six. We walk seven, eight. So I'm gonna flip that around. It might be a little bit easier to learn going this direction. So starting on that slight diagonal, right foot is free. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six, back seven, eight. That's going to kind of square us back up to our 12 o'clock position. One more time, and a one two, three, four, five, and six, back, seven, eight. From here, we're going to do a triple step. So we have one and two, we cross in front. Let's do that again. So we are on our right foot. We have one and two. We're gonna do the same thing with the right foot, three and four. So we're on a slight uh, diagonal, if you will, or a slight angle. We're going to square it back up for five. We rock back six, then we step back seven and eight. Let's do that again. So the second, um, let's go ahead and do that from the top actually, why not? We have a one, two, three, four, five and six. We walk back seven, eight, we square it up. We have one and two, three, and four, we square it up, five, six, we step back, seven, and eight. Let's do it again. From the top, and a oh, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. We have one and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm facing you. At this point, we're going to triple underneath us. So if you guys had seen some of the anchor styling classes that Megan and I did, this is gonna be one of those anchors. We have one and two, so we slide to the side. Let's try that again. One and two, we're gonna turn three and four. Now we're gonna do a little jazz square. So we take our right foot across for five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Let's do that last one. So we have one and two. We turn three and four. We cross five, six, seven, eight. So let's do the last two eights all together. From here, we have a one and two, three and four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Then we have right underneath us, we have one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go ahead and try that from the top all together. Starting on our angle, right foot is free. We walk forward. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. We square up one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. We have one and two, three and four. We cross five back, six sides, seven, eight. So we're making sure that our weight is on our left foot. We're going to do it one more time because why not? Here we go. And oh, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. We have a one and two, three, and four, five, six, back, seven, and eight. Underneath us, one and two, turn, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to go into some syncopations. So we have and one, and two, and three, and four. Let's do that a couple more times. So our weight is on our left foot. We have and one, and two, and three, and four. From here, we are going to do a pencil turn. So we're going to step to the side for five, six. Then we're going to slide to the left, seven, and eight will get us back ready to start again with our right foot free. <laughs> Hope everything's okay behind the camera. <laughs> Megan's going a little, she's got the giggles. Do we have any questions? Awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. All right. So one of the cool things, like I said earlier, one of the cool things about this is you can do it to slow music. You can do it to fast music. Due to copyright uh, restrictions, we are not able to play the actual song that I wanted to use, which is Summertime by New Kids on the Block. Um, it is a nice, slow tempo, and it also makes me think of summer, which is my favorite season. And I feel like the summertime is going to be a better time for all of us. So it's hopeful thinking and summertime is a really good song. So that was my uh, mindset for that. And then we chose a song, a, a, uh, I guess a, an okay song for YouTube to use tonight, which now I can't remember the name of, but Megan has dropped the links in YouTube and Facebook for the song itself, which is called Top Down by Dan Liebowitz. You can YouTube that. It's also a really good uh, tempo to practice to as well. Can you do the second part so I can see it? When we turn, I can follow because I can see my computer screen. Got it. I I'm can't follow because I can see Okay. So I'm going to be doing this both ways. You'll be able to see it from the front and the back, but I was just doing it this way for the first part of it. So the second part, I believe, is the question, the part in question. OK. So once we've done our walks and we've come back here, we're going to step to the side. So we have one and two, three and four. Then we're going to square up five, six, seven, and eight. Eight. Our right foot is free now, so we're going to triple underneath. We have one and two as a slide. We turn here, three and four. Now, if any of you are familiar with a jazz square or jazz box, that's what you're going to do next. Right foot goes across for five, six, seven, eight. This goes into our syncopations. And one and two and three and four. We turn five six, and we slide to the left, seven, eight. Now later on, you can add double turns to that. Just as long as your right foot is free by the eight, you're good to go. So now let's do this whole thing starting this way. 
we have a one, two, three, four, five, and six. Walk back, seven, eight. We have one and two, three and four. Rock forward, back, back, and together. We have one and two, three and four. Jazz square, five, six, seven, eight. Syncopations, a one and two and three and four. We turn five, six, seven, eight. So hopefully that answered the question about what we were doing in different positions. So a couple of things that I like doing, uh, that was just the basic one. So a couple of things that you can do, you can add levels, you can do some flicks, um, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll kind of go through a little bit, bit by bit, and see what we can add uh, as far as styling goes. So from here, you can do different walks, whatever you're feeling like. I was practicing rolling through the feet, so you can do that heel to toe, which you've heard Brian, Megan, and I talk about quite a bit, rolling through the feet. You can also use a little bit of a hip or a sexy walk if you wanted to, toe to heel, and then if you wanted to get a little funky, you could do a little I don't know, boogie walk, if you will, there. So just make sure in whatever you do for those four counts, you're good to go and you start with the right foot. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We walk back seven, eight. From here, we're gonna square up. We have one and two. I like to flick my leg here. Guys, you may not wanna do that, but you can do whatever you want. Ladies, I like flicking. We have three, and four, then we square up, five, six, seven, and eight. On that five, six, you can drop down if you'd like. So you can drop five, six, seven, and eight. Levels are a really good way to stylize your West Coast swing. So let's do that last part. So the second eight of the routine. We have one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm facing you. From here, this, it can kind of get carried away on that slide, and it's a very quick switch back to do that turn. So for the slide, as much as you may want to level change and make this pretty dramatic, I probably <laughs> would not want to do that for this. So from here, we have one and two. Make sure that that slide is underneath your body. Sorry, we have a issue. I knew it. Benjamin left and we have an issue. Then from here, we have three and four. Hang on, Facebook, we're coming back. Don't you worry. So let's try the third eight count again. We're gonna triple underneath us with our right foot. We have one and two, we turn over our left shoulder for three and four. Our right foot is free, so we cross over for five, six, seven, eight. Again, if you wanna change the level there, that can happen, or if you find another way to do that, feel free to play and uh, figure out what's good for you. Let's do that eight again. So we have one and two. If you wanted to, you could add an arm, two, and then you can add another arm, three, and four. I like doing that because it helps me stay stable. Then we cross back, side, and forward. Then we have our syncopations. Those are pretty cool in and of themselves. Um, if you wanted to add an arm or anything like that, feel free to do so. We have and one, and two, and three, and four. We spin five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you wanted to add multiple spins there, feel free to do that. Like I said earlier, just make sure that by eight, or really by the one, your right foot is free and ready to start again. So if we did that, we have and one, and two, a uh, three, and four. We spin five, six, seven, eight, and then we're ready to go 
into the one. Cool. All right, so let's do this. We're going to do, like I said, it's two walls. So I'm going to do it facing you first, and then I'm going to turn around, do it facing the second wall, and then we will try it to music. Any questions? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, so from the top, facing this direction, and then don't worry, I will turn around and do it the other way. We have a oh, one, two, three, four. Five and six, seven, eight, oh, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight, oh, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, one and two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five and six. Seven, eight, oh, one, and two, three, and four, square up, five, six, seven, and eight, oh, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, and two, a uh, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. So on that seven, eight, you can do a little flick if you want. You can bring that leg in and get ready to go. You can just kind of slide it and do kind of a sexy tango drag if you're interested in that, whatever you want to do. So now, if there are no questions, let's try it to music. So just like um, this song has a 16 beat intro, Summertime, the new Kids on the Block uh, song does as well. So if you try it to that song, wait 16 counts, it starts when they start singing, if you're doing it to Summertime. Five, six, five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight, one and two. else has a better name go ahead and send that in I'm not sold on it but this was created just for you so I hope you guys had fun again feel free to play and uh, kind of mess around with different movements and isolations and uh, anything really that works for you so try it out let me know how it goes uh, join us tomorrow for some two-step and ways to style your sugar push. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you all guys so much. My name is Miss Emily from westcoastswingonline.com and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>